Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kingdom Pets channel. Today we'll be looking at the Thai Ridgeback and interesting facts about these amazing breeds. For starters, the Thai Ridgeback is one of the only breeds that has a ridge of hair running down its back in the opposite direction to the rest of the coat. The other two are the Rhodesian Ridgeback and the Phu Quark Ridgeback of Vietnam. These muscular dogs are intelligent, loyal and can be protective of their home or their environment. They have no trouble relaxing around the house but will require outlets of sudden burst of energy. Because they can be independent minded, they are not a good choice for the novice owner. So if you haven't had puppies before or dogs at the home, I would highly not recommend that the Thai Ridgeback be your first pet at home, especially if you have families because they are a lot of work to deal with but they are amazing dogs nonetheless. The history of the Thai Ridgeback has been found in Eastern Thailand since the Middle Ages but its ancestors go way back to primitive dogs. It is considered an ancient land race dog that is a breed that evolves naturally on its own. One genetic hypothesis is that both the Thai Ridgeback and the Phu Quark are descendants from the Funan Ridgeback dog which originated over 1000 years ago in the Funan era. The Funan era pretty much existed along the southern east of Southeast Asia and what is now known as Cambodia and then the southern eastern side of Vietnam extending all the way over to Thailand and Burma. One of the interesting things about the Funan Empire is that it's written in Chinese history and that is the hypothesis believed behind the origin of the Thai Ridgeback. The Thai Ridgeback has only recently had a formal breed standard. Along the physical analysis of the Thai Ridgeback, it is a muscular medium sized dog with a wedge shaped head, triangular shaped prick ears and a very short smooth coat. It has a pronounced ridge on its back formed from hair growing in the opposite direction that extends all the way back to its hips which is where it gets the name Ridgeback from. In terms of exercises, the Thai Ridgeback does require some form of work or a space where they can use up all their build up energy. Because they are muscular dogs, it is best required for them to either go for long walks or have some form of work to be done in the yard or at home. In the Thailand region, they are known as the cart following dogs because they are usually working dogs with the farmers around their space. In terms of intelligence and how easy the Thai Ridgeback is to be trained, it is generally based that they are an easy breed to train although they do require a lot of discipline. They are affectionate and playful and they are also good with little children. They are sometimes not good with other dogs unless they grew up in an environment where they saw a lot of other socialization with dogs and they were taken to the dog park and they saw a lot of other animals. The grooming is very low maintenance because they do have a short coat. So if it's just one, so every now and then you can just brush their coat as well. In terms of health, the Thai Ridgeback is a very healthy breed. Considered to be so based on hypotheses that because it naturally developed, it has very low medical conditions. Nonetheless, it may be prone to minor issues such as an elbow dysplasia, canine hip dysplasia, hypothyroidism, deafness and dermite sinus are also occasionally seen in this breed. According to the American College of Veterinary Surgeons, the elbow dysplasia is an inherited condition that can occur in most dog breeds but it is most commonly seen in large to giant breed dogs. It has been noted to affect both elbows in up to 80% of patients. The Bernese Mountain Dogs, German Shepherds and Golden Retrievers are among those that are predisposed to this condition. Unfortunately, once the elbow joint has been damaged through either cartilage loss, medial compartment disease or through other inflammations or cartilage damage, ultimately this causes progressive arthritis of the elbow joints leading to pain and loss of function. The hip dysplasia is a hereditary defect of the hip socket. It can be mild, causing little or no pain at all, or it can eventually lead to severe lameness. The Thai Ridgeback with hip dysplasia may move slowly or avoid jumping or that you can see that they become very lethargic in their everyday activity. And lastly, hypothyroidism is a thyroid hormone deficiency. It is diagnosed by clinical features such as lethargy, weight gain, obesity, heart rate changes and low serum thyroid hormone concentrations. Management includes daily thyroid hormone supplements, which is something that the dog will be on for long term. And just some closing remarks that the Thai Ridgeback lives for around 12 to 14 years of age and they can weigh all the way up to 27 kilos. So thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you in the next episode of Kingdom Pets channel.